we've posted a lot of videos right on gas carburetors. I hope you haven't bored of seeing gas carburetors on your screen regularly on Benko channel. Well, uh, the reason we do this is because in this part where we are, um, gas carburetors are just a trend at the moment. And I believe that will be a trend till, let's say, December. Okay, if you have fixed this gas carburetor, you'll be thinking, okay, my generator now reduces running cost. You get what I mean by running cost because you now use gas, you no longer use petrol. But you still, which is, of course, common to man, you will still want to, uh, if possible, save more money. And that is where we're coming at the moment. In this particular video, I'll be teaching you guys the possible ways to further reduce the consumption of gas for your gas carburetors in your generator. Without wasting much of time, let's dive into this class proper. One of the things to consider is the load of your load your generator carry. If the load of your generator is much, I be rest assured it will consume more gas compared to when the load is not much. Just imagine using your generator, you use your generator to power load, let's say pressing iron, freezers, shillers, cookers, you name it. And another person use that same generator for just lighting point fans and maybe tv set the amount of gas your generator will consume is way way more than what um, the other person's generator will consume so take cognizance of that that the load of your generator determines the amount of gas your generator consume another thing of note to take cognizance of is the speed of your generator when the speed of your generator is high that means a lot of fuel will be consumed by your generator whether gas or petrol but when the speed of your generator is low, not much fuel is consumed by your generator. So how do you reduce the speed of your generator? Let's say, for instance, your generator is too high. How do you reduce the speed of your generator? One key thing to do is to get access to this screw. This screw basically controls the speed of your generator. It's connected to the governor, okay? You all know the function of a governor, right? So this speed, when you take it to the right, this shows you've increased the speed of your generator. But when you take it slightly to the left, okay, you've reduced the speed, the revolution per minute of your generator. However, there is a tweak to this. You don't just reduce for the sake of reduction, okay? It is advisable you give this to a technician to help you reduce it. But if you still want to do it yourself, it is quite easy. All you need to do is to take cognizance of the generator on load and take cognizance of how your generator sounds when you try reducing it if you reduce your generator and you notice it's on load and the generator starts vibrating it is advisable you increase it a little bit okay thank you so much for watching this video to this very particular point i really do appreciate you if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed i bid you to subscribe there are a lot of contents on this channel you are going to enjoy as you got small engine repairs if you are an old member of this channel i really really appreciate you for staying with us for all these years however still try to reach out to as many people as you can and tell them about this channel tell them about the contents we we produce on this channel okay and if you are watching this video you've not liked this video i urge you to like please do like so youtube is aware there is something going on in this particular channel so they can promote our channel okay let's continue with our video another thing of note to take uh cognizance of is the valve of your cylinder okay the valve of your cylinder is one thing most people are not really aware of that could be one of the reasons your generator uh, may be taking more petrol or rather your generator may be taking more gas okay sometimes it is advisable you get a low pressure valve a low pressure valve directs little gas to your generator unlike other uh, valves that will just allow massive gas to flow to your generator however if, for example, you're already using the regular valve you have that is not low pressure, there's still a tweak to it. Instead of opening the valve to the very end, you can just simply open it half. Of course, your generator will still work very fine, regardless if the valve is on the half position or not. So kindly take cognizance of that. It is very, very important. I've gotten a lot of reviews from people telling me <laughs> their generator takes more gas, and eventually when they change that valve, it works better all right you see this particular uh, tweak i'm going to talk about now is slightly underrated in my opinion is underrated a lot of persons do not use it but if you use it right you will <laughs> save a lot of money okay so this is how it works you remember 
for this particular carburetor if it's vertical it's on lpg if it's horizontal right it's on cng and guess what if it is this slant from this end to this end and its slant is locked at this point gas cannot flow from year to year but here is the tweak if you take it from this lock position a little bit not exactly like this again exactly vertical just a little bit the amount of gas that goes in will be reduced okay and here is the thing some persons would say why would i do this would it stop the working of my generator of course not the way gas work is so different from the way petrol work because if you tweak it down to this particular point and the generator is not receiving enough gas instantly the generator will either go off or start jerking so at that point you take it to a particular angle where you think it works very fine okay so let's assume i do this i take it to this particular point when it's open a little bit open let me see if the camera can see something here okay can you see this can the camera see this it can't okay if you come back if you camera can see inside you see it's open fully here yeah? but it's locked now right if you notice it's locked now because it is this way i explained earlier now tweaking it a little not opening it this way now but just tweaking it a little you will discover there's just a tiny position just a tiny hole for the gas to flow at this point if you notice your generator stores even when the gas flows a little then all you need to do is to open it further a little bit and your generator will work fine i assure you that it's something i've tried it's something i've tested it will work very fine this is very underrated this particular method is very underrated but i use it particularly for my gen and it has worked so so efficiently so one thing you should always do when you have something like this just as i've explained is to tweak the valve of your what of your carburetor another thing to do when you are faced with a reduction of gas is to tweak this ratio the four air ratio however this may not give you the result it will give you when you do it for petrol okay it won't give you it's better if you if you sometimes i wouldn't advise people not to touch it but if you still want to go further after performing all the other tweaks i talked about if you still want to go further you can just tighten this a little so this is how it works when for petrol for petrol right when you take this out when you're losing this a lot of petrol goes into your generator same applies for gas anyway but however the effect of gas is minimal so when you want to tighten the consumption or want to reduce the consumption of gas you tighten this to the right okay you tighten this to the right make sure it gets to the end when it gets to the end you can't go further at that point you're losing it three or four cycles at that point now gas flows into your generator however this is not as efficient as it would be for petrol okay but if you are using other techniques and it turned out your generator still consumes a lot of gas you can simply make use of this there is a bonus tip and this is something i have observed with a lot of uh, gas carburetor users when they get gas some gas are not uh, top quality okay when they get gas this gas finishes in no time not because they've their carburetor is not working well or not because the speed of the generator is high or not because the load of your generator is too much but just because they are using less quality gas so it's very very much advisable you get gas from the right filling station okay so that is it from us on this particular class if you've loved our videos please do well to like share subscribe it's very very important so at least we see our growth because we've checked our channel i will discover a lot of persons who have viewed our videos have not really subscribed so if you are one of those persons who have viewed our videos i urge you to subscribe so meet in our next class guys it's goodbye take care